Oh my gosh, it's huge. Alright guys, well, as you can see, I am out on a kayak, thanks to uh, thanks to James back there for uh, loaning me this guy. We are at a new lake, we drove like an hour, um, we're at a new lake never been to before. It's about 7.30, wow, that's really bright. It's like 46 degrees, I haven't fished in this cool of water in forever, I'm in sweatpants and a hoodie, but hopefully the fish are biting, I'm excited, I love kayak fishing. You guys like watching me kayak fish, because a lot of times I, I fail, but today, Today it's not happening. Let's catch some fish. There's one. There's one. First fish of the day. A little dinky. Oh yeah. He's actually not too bad. This lake is uh, it's just filled with small fish, so it's going to be a fun day. Just catching lots of fish from the yak. That was the first cast on the wacky rig. Little uh, little wacky fish. See you later, bub. Let's see if there's anything around this little dock. Right over here. Yep, there was one by the dock. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, bugger. Ah, it's a baby fish. Oh, he came off. We didn't want him anyway. That's two fish for me. I think James got about four. We just got a bunch of dinks. We, uh, we, I might need to go grab a buzz bait or something and fish these banks for a big, for a big bass. I don't know if I'm gonna catch the big ones. Throw on a little wacky rig like this. <clears throat> All right, I got the buzz bait on. That means I'm going for big fish only. Ooh, that's how you do it. Step number one to buzzbait fishing. Make sure your brakes are not on zero. Ooh, I had another one miss it. All right, all right. You guys want to learn something? All right, take notes, folks. Take notes. I had one miss a buzzbait. Now, what I could do, I've got two options. I could, one, throw the buzzbait back in there and hopes he eats it, or two, grab a wacky rig Senko and throw that in there and actually catch the fish. So, you guys take notes right now. You wanna make sure you got a, a weightless Senko, whether it's Wacky or uh, Texas Rig. You wanna toss that bad boy right on top of him, work it a little bit, work it, work it, let it drop, and watch the magic happen. Okay, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys should unsubscribe right now. Ooh, I think I just had a big one hit. Yeah, that was a big swirl. They don't want to commit to it. Let's see if they eat, see if this one eats the wacky. Oh, it worked! It worked! My trick worked. There we go. Ha! See, you guys, you guys should. If you just unsubscribe, you should resubscribe because I know what I'm doing. That's a little better one. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, he's not he's not giant by any means, but I'll take him all day long. Like I said, we're in a we're in a small fish factory today. There are some big fish, so we gotta weed through the small guys, but chunky, chunky little healthy dude. See you later, Felipe. Yeah, I didn't I I threw a spook a little bit. Oh, oh I just had one. They're missing this buzz bait like it's their freaking day job, but I'm just gonna keep cleaning up shop with this Sanko. Oh, I think he ate it. Oh, yeah, he ate it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh, I'm crashing now. I'm crashing. We're good. I got a fish. This is just, this is textbooks right here. Find him with the buzz bait, catch him with the stanko. There we go. That guy's a little itty bitty one, but still catching some fish. Having a good time on the old kayak. It's finally, finally nice to catch fish out of a kayak. See you later, Jerome. I like this lake. It's cool. Oh, I just had one miss. He looks small. I'm not even going to try to follow him up. I'm going for the big girls. 
I'm going for Big Bertha. Uh oh. Yeah, it's gonna be a. Oh, let's see if I can get a Bama bass fish here. Oh, he ate it off the tree. <laughs> he ate it off the tree. <laughs> oh my gosh, he ate it off the tree limb. Classic. Well, it ain't a beast by any means, but uh, it's still fun when you get to dangle your lure over a tree limb and they come up and eat it. Good fish. There's one. Oh, that one crushed it. Oh yeah, buzz baits catch the quality. James was telling me to throw the buzz bait if I wanted a little bit bigger one, and uh, it worked. See a bub. Ooh, that felt like a bigger one. I'm gonna throw my stanko in for that one. Going after this fish. Right there, right there. Money shot, money shot. Where's he at though? Oh, he ate it, he ate it. Get it back, come on. Hit it again, hit it again. Easy peasy, come on. Got him, got him. Oh! Fishing tips with flair. Sanko, always. Always catches the fish. Oh, wow. That was a fish. Every time I get hit, I swear I'm looking somewhere else, picking my nose, doing something goofy. Keep missing all these fish. All right, so for those of you guys watching, I don't really know what I'm gonna make this video into. So what I've kind of decided is, I'm just gonna do a bunch of tips on each of the tactics that I'm doing. So if you guys are fishing and you guys see this like a uh, little log right here, and there's a log over here, and there's a bunch more logs over by James. Anytime you're fishing down the bank, like we were on a buzz bait and crank baits and stuff like that, anytime there's some, there's some trees or some lay downs, you always wanna pick up a, either a soft plastic or a jig and just throw to it. I've caught two fish doing so. They're not big, but a lot of times you'll catch your bigger fish uh, fishing places like this, uh, with just like offshore stuff, offshore trees and even rock piles or whatever else you find. So like I said, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this video, but I figured each tactic that I used to catch fish, I'm gonna explain why I'm throwing that and why I think I caught the fish. So hopefully, hopefully that helps. There's one. 20. Number 20. There's one. Oh, wow. Not a big one. First fish on the jig, though. Just catching them on a lot of, a lot of different lures. It doesn't seem like what you throw really matters. Another fish. Well, I wanted to give you guys like a quick midday update, I guess. It's, it's uh, 9.38. AM. So we've been fishing two hours. Yeah, something like that. Two, two, two and a half hours. We've caught, I think I've caught 27 or 28. James caught about 27 or 28. So we're over 50 and uh, like two, two and a half hours of fishing, which is really good. Still struggling to find those big fish, uh, but we're still having a good time. I'm going to continue to kind of cycle through lures and just catch fish on them and then explain to you, you know, how I'm doing it. And then as well as if you guys want to know like the rod, the reel, the line that I'm using for all of these different tactics, I'm not going to go over them because they take way too long. So make sure you just check down in the description if you want any of that information. Otherwise, stay tuned through the rest of the video to learn how to catch fish on just different baits. I'm going to go to the old reliable chatter bait. Now that the sun came out, I don't know if that buzz bait's going to do that, all that hot. Uh, there was a super thick layer of scum on the water and, and until basically this wind picked up. Which is why we were able to catch buzzbait fish at 9.30 in the morning. So I'm going to go to the chatterbait instead. Uh, instead of the buzzbait. Similar, just below the surface. Still a reaction style lure. And it also catches big fish. Which again is what I'm really after. Is trying to figure out where these big fish are living. In, uh, in a small fish lake. So we'll see how this goes. There's one. Right at the, right at the boat. There you go. He's a little bit bigger. Not quite as small as some of those other dudes I was catching. We're getting a little better. That's uh, I think 28. Uh, 
There's one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. We got a big one. Oh yeah, we find. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw my pole in the water. I finally had a good one, like a two, two and a half pounder. And I just screwed it up. Sick. There's one. 33. This chatterbait is catching a little bit bigger fish than than, her, than the fish I was catching earlier. No giants, but still catching fish. 33. See you later, buddy. So what I'm doing is I'm tying on this little crankbait there, and I'm just going for numbers. Uh, and we're gonna see if we can hit 100. Right now we're at 73, and we gotta hit 100 before we can go home. So I put on a little crankbait. This little dude should do some do some damage for sure. Oh, sh there you go. That's how you catch the big ones. Tip number one: don't do that. It's 37 for me, 74 total. Right there, jig fish. See you, buddy. There's one. Right out of the, uh, right out of the wood. It's right where he should be. Woo! That's a little better one. Crankbait fish. That is number 40 for me. Hey buddy. 81. There's one. Uh oh. Here we go. Bring him in the boat. Woo! That's 99. How many do you have? 51. You have 51? Yeah, that'd be 48 for me. Alright, 48. All right, one more fish. I got 48. James got 51. Looking for number one, Hana. Uh-oh. I got him! Oh, he came off! Oh, he lost 100. It's all right. We'll get another one. You got him? Oh no, I was stuck. No, I was stuck. Oh, I do got him. He came came off the rocks. Woo! Oh, wow. Number 100 is by far the biggest one of the day. Shout out to you, my little homie, for being 100. We got a big 100 right there. See, buddy? End the day on a giant. Oh, ah, I got a good one. Yeah. Like it might be actually like a really good one. Oh, he's foul hooked. It's a good fish. He's just foul hooked. That might, that's one of the big, that's one of the bigger ones. That's 50 for me. We decided to go past 100. Redeem myself from that teeny dink and caught. Probably about a two pounder. See you later, Shante. Pig. You got a pig? Yeah. All right, well, James James got a pig. We're, we're headed the way back to the dock and James hooked into a big one. We'll see, we'll see what it is. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's about freaking time. Big old pig. Nice. Finally, finally someone caught a big fish in this lake. They do exist. 571. 571. There you go. Almost six. Almost a six pounder, dude. That's awesome. Right. What'd you catch on a jig? Yeah, just a jig. Nice. Jig well, there are big fish in this lake. 
just uh, takes a lot of time and patience, but there you go. Nice. Good work. Well, folks, I am ending the video here before I do. Quick shout out to Cole Katzel. He was my biggest Patreon supporter for the month of September. If you guys are interested in getting exclusive videos, exclusive live streams, and lists on baits for that particular month that catch fish, click the link down below. It goes to my Patreon account, and uh, if you like it, you can sign up. If not, it doesn't matter. I'm basically just doing it to help you guys catch more fish. So we're ending the day. We, uh, we caught 100 fish, we caught 101, and actually I turned the cameras off, we caught a few more on the way back, but I caught, I think, 50. James got 51, so we ended up with 101 fish. Incredible day on the water, and you guys are, if you guys are like in Iowa or Nebraska, you're probably wondering what lake this is. I wanna see if any of you guys can actually guess what lake this is, and in two days, I will add the location that we're at down in the description. So if you wanna know where we're at and you don't know then come back in two days after this video is posted and I'll have the uh, location there. I just wanna see how many of you guys are fishing freaks and just know every body of water in the United States and what this one's called. Again, I'm not gonna go over any of the lures and stuff that I use today. All of it will be down in the description. I'll have everything there for you guys to look at. Rods, reels, line, uh, what tungsten weights I was using. Like I've said before, I get tungsten super cheap. I'll make sure to leave the, uh, the link to OM Fishing Sinkers down below. Get a lot of questions about tungsten and uh, people are asking, is lead better than tungsten and vice versa? If you can get tungsten cheap, tungsten's way, the way to go. And I do have a website that I get my tungsten from that is very cheap. So make sure you check down below for that. Otherwise, rods, reels, line, all that good stuff. Will you guys learn something? I tried to give you guys tips on buzz baits and wacky Sankos and chatter baits and square bills and all sorts of fun stuff. Good day on the water. Huge shout out to James for giving me his kayak to use for the day and joining me in catching 50 fish. That was uh, pretty exciting. I don't get to do that very often. But that's it. I'm gonna go home, edit this video, go to bed. Peace. There you go. Nice, compa nice comparison. Buzzbait fish.